Have you ever been cramped or even late to class due to the hallways being so packed? Well, you can help fix that by taking a different route to your class, as well as not crowding around lockers. Thanks, Avon. Um, Good afternoon, Avon. ENN has its pink on. Be sure to wear your pink tonight for the home football game against Berea Mid Park. ENN starts now. Congratulations to the girls' soccer team last night against the win against Berea Mid Park. Goals were scored by Emily Daw, Megan Sakura, and the 2 0 shutout win. Another congratulations goes out to the volleyball team against the beating Amherst last night. Power hitters were Hallie Schroeder, Katie Sopko, and the back row was led by Aaron Gardner. Both teams are sectional champs. Congratulations to both teams. Hey freshmen, are you interested in hosting a student who wants a shadow at AHS for a day? The counselors are looking for about 12 students to serve as ambassadors for the Eagles. If you are interested in having a future student shadow your day at AHS, please sign up in student services by Thursday, October 26th. There are extra Avon football short and long sleeve shirts for sale during lunches in the or in the athletic office. They are $10 for short sleeve and $15 for long sleeve. It, they are available today for the pink out. Go Eagles! The first friendship group meeting of the year will be Tuesday, October 25th at 3.15 p.m. in the community room. Those students interested in joining or have any questions should see Mrs. Reinhardt or Ms. B. Wednesday, October 26th is the next late start of the school year. Early bird classes start at 8.35 a.m. and first period classes start at 9.10 a.m. School doors don't open until 6.30 a.m. I'm Rachel Lando and we went around asking teachers would you rather questions. Let's see what they said. Mrs. Herkovic, would you rather be the best in the world at one thing or good at everything? I think I would be, I'd rather be good at everything. Can you tell me why? Nope. <laughs> because it gives you more options. Would you rather change one thing in the past or plan one thing for the future? Man, I don't know. That's a really tough one because, one, I'm a firm believer in the idea that, you know, what has happened in the past really shapes kind of who you are. I, I kind of like me for the most part, so I don't know which I would change. And for the future, I like to have, th I'm a fatalist, like whatever happens, happens. But I think we all have regrets. I think there's always, you know, every one of us probably has something that we wish we would have done differently. I think I'd probably go back and maybe change something in the past and just let the future happen the way it happens. So would you rather know it all or have it all? I would rather know it all because if you gain more knowledge you can then in the end maybe have more, have it all. Would you rather say everything that's on your mind or never speak at all? It is better to remain silent and be thought a fool than open your mouth and remove all doubt. I have a lot on my mind. I think I'll stay quiet. Would you rather have a dragon or be a dragon? I think I would rather own a dragon because I mean if you own a dragon who's gonna mess with you? Like a great, great guard dog, except this guard dragon can breathe fire on people anytime they mess with you. So I think it'd be cooler to own a dragon. I mean, it'd be cool to be a dragon, don't get me wrong. But if you own one, I think that's a lot cooler. Would you rather live one life that is a thousand years long or ten lives that are a hundred years long each? Ten lives that are a hundred years each. Can you tell me why? That's a pretty good long uh, trip. I'm going to I'm going to take ten lives. Uh, just because I like variety, and who knows, I might be uh, an exterminator in one life, and then I might be an actor. You never know. Yes, I like the variety. The book club's next meeting is Monday, October 24th at 3.15 p.m. in room 217 and will include a discussion of Stephen King's The Shining along with Halloween treats. Remember to bring your completed emergency forms to the meeting. For any information, see Ms. Getz or check the bulletin board outside 217. Students interested in joining intramural bowling can pick up information in the main office or from Mr. Sindelar in room 254. Forms and checks need to be returned to 254 by Wednesday, October 26th. Contact Mr. Sindelar with any questions. Attention cross-country runners. Runners that have completed their season need to turn their uniforms into Miss Fox in the main office immediately. Please have them washed and bring a bag marked with your name. Here's the announcement you've been waiting for. 
Attention all students interested in participating in the Winter Sports Club. There will be a Winter Sports Club information registration meeting on October 27th at 3.15 p.m. in the community room, located near the auditorium. All forms will be distributed regarding Winter Sports Club, due dates Thursday after school. If you have any questions, see Mr. Ryan in room 120. Student Council will have a meeting on Tuesday, October 25th in room 205 after school. This meeting is for all current members and those interested in joining Student Council. We will be taking a, talking about our many upcoming events and refreshments will be provided. Boo Seniors, we're sending it over to Mrs. McGee with another announcement. Now we're sending it over to Rachel Lando with more on Mole Day. Mrs. Knox, we were wondering if you can explain to us exactly what Mole Day is. So Mole Day technically is a celebration of a unit in chemistry and we kind of celebrate just little brown moles because it's easier to visualize but technically it's a unit that we're celebrating and we just have fun, do different chemistry related activities during the day and eat food and have fun. Uh, we're celebrating Mole Day today and Mole Day is the best day of the whole year. We come here in chemistry, we get to eat food, make moles, people made their own shirts. I look forward to this day every single year and I think everybody else does too. And it's uh, October 23rd and it's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. That's why it's October 23rd. So hopefully uh, you guys all got to celebrate Mole Day today. Now we're sending it over with the Senior of the Week. Good afternoon, Avon High School. I'm Alex Gamboa. And I'm Corlin Clickner. And this is our crib. This right here, these lovely ladies, let all my friends in, you know, make sure they're here on time. Great ladies. Thank you. You guys are great too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to go over here to our TVs now. Uh, we don't really, we don't, we don't believe in picture frames here, so we just bought five TVs and put them up, and uh, you know that's how we do things around Usually, here. Usually, high class. Where we eat, my friends eat here, you know. And they're yeah. hungry. Squad comes through here. This is where we ball. So our house right here. This is our gym. These are where the ladies cook our food. So the magic all time. happens in here. Let's see what's cooking. Chef D. Chef D, what's cooking? Chef D, what up? See over here we got salads. This, this right here is our uh, trophy case. We've got a lot of awards here that I'm very proud of, uh, especially this one. This is back in the day when I played girls golf. Um, oh, I remember that. Dude. Yeah, were really the, good. yeah, those were the, those were what you might call the golden yeah. days. Um, so yeah. All right, so now we're gonna go to uh, our. I don't really know what this was. Ac uh, academic. But, uh, yeah, some, we're we're gonna go cool over stuff here. over yeah, there. So cool I guess we'll go over here. Now we're gonna go see uh, Malgrizi, and uh, I think he has the senior of the week in there. Yeah, let's check it out. So, Mr. Malgru, who's senior of the week? Alex, senior of the week is. 
I just want to say thank you to Mr. Mulgrew for picking me as Senior of the Week, and I'm excited about my parking spot and my free cookie. So tell us why you picked Grace to be the Senior of the Week. I picked Grace Carmel to be the Senior of the Week because uh, she demonstrates what I would like to see in an Avon High School college prep student. Um, in my two years teaching here, I would say that Grace is the hardest worker I've ever had in class. Um, she asks the right questions, and she's consistent with her daily work ethic, and I appreciate Grace, and uh, she makes teaching easy and enjoyable. Thanks, thanks, Mr. Walger. You're welcome, Alex. That's all we have for you today, Avon. I'm Dylan Morris. And I'm Blake Ophria. Have a great day.